The moment we have all been waiting for, the dating journey check-in with our executive producer, Jill Hodson, in the hot seat. Now, you started this in November. Yeah. And so it is time for an update. A lot has happened. Let's start with how you were feeling going into it because you worked with a dating counselor. Mm -hmm. And what did she say? You had a certain dating style. Yeah, so we, she had me take a little test and it turned out I have like an anxious attachment style for dating. Um, and so then from there we've taken a little like one-on-one, -on -one, not one, -on yeah, one-on-one -on -one courses for dating 101. What does that mean, an anxious attachment style? It just means that I overthink basically everything. I also have an anxious <laughs> attachment style, apparently. Are there, there's a couple different attachment styles, right? You'll fall in the category of how many? Four? Um, I, I don't quite there's remember, four of them. but anxious was like so, but what was, was really it helpful cool. to yeah. do that? Like to yeah. meet one on one and talk about that? Do you oh, feel like yeah. it really helped? Oh yeah, she like explained dating in such a way that it made sense to my brain, where it was like a step by step process. So anything I need, like anything I do, I basically need step by step process so I can stay in line. I like that though. Uh, she gave you the color. tools because overthinkers tend to get ahead mm -hmm. of themselves. Mm -hmm. So she let you just break it down and say. This person I'm experiencing right now, I'm just going to say, are they even a friend? Could they even be a friend to me? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It takes so, the pressure off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how many right. guys? Yeah, let's get to the juicy yes. part. Yeah, right. Right. Okay, two months of cupping season, right? Or cuffing yeah. season. Cuffing. 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 All right, so how many men? Yeah. <laughs> give us, give us oh, Jill, give us I piece. really can't so, believe that she's talking about this on TV. Can I, I just say, is. she's our executive producer and behind the scenes for a reason. She chooses to be behind the scenes, <laughs> not in front of the cameras. So I love that you are sharing with everyone because I think mm -hmm. there are a lot of people dating that love to say, okay, how is it working for you and how's your journey going? Mm -hmm. What do you think so far? Um, it's a lot. Dating is a lot of work. Um, so I've been really grateful to Lonnie because she's been working with me with, through all of this and she's made it just so easy. Um, and so to answer your question, I've met six guys so far. Woohoo! That's a good amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've they've all been really good dudes. Like And what oh, have you been no doing? Complaints. What are some of the dates that you've gone on? Let's see. So we did the Sundance ski lift ride for one of my very first dates just right before Halloween. Um, and that was super fun and also terrifying <laughs> because I actually have a fear of ski lifts. So when we turned around to go back down the mountain I realized <laughs> This is how my life ends today. It's but fine. did you snuggle a little closer and everything was fine? I mean, I grabbed onto the <laughs> lucky guy. <laughs> the <Really? ski> lift. <laughs> yeah. So that was a fun date. It was just something fun and unique. And um, other dates I've been on is just going out to dinner, dinner and a movie, um, paint night. Paint night was honestly my favorite is one. That? This is what I did for paint night. It was just something fun and. I don't know, just was like, let's do some shapes. You know, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular or whatnot, but I was just picking paints and it was just so fun and easy. Go ahead. Sparks. We gotta get <laughs> yeah, to yeah. it. Like, how do you know, like, have you on any of the first dates felt that or does it take a little while to get into it? I am so indecisive, it takes a couple of dates to get into it. Um, like, there are guys who I'm like, yeah, I, I'm totally open to seeing you again. And then there are other ones that I'm like, <laughs> nope. And why is that? <laughs> what made you say, nope, not going to go there again? So the example, um, we did dinner, and as we were leaving the restaurant, it was pouring rain. And when I was standing there with him, he was like, I would be a gentleman and walk you to the car, but I'm just going to book it and run. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't do that. Bad decisions. <laughs> are there other dating no-nos that you can share, things you've learned that are, let's not do this? Um, I would say probably moving too fast. Like there are things or a couple of guys have said stuff and I'm like, <laughs> break, too quick. Too uh, soon, on the break. Too much. Yeah. Okay, so what have you learned about yourself and dating? Like, do you like the low key? Do you like it chill? Do you, oh, do you um, like adventures? I, I like a mix of both, honestly. Um, we've, I've had some adventures and I've had some really good like chill nights. Like that's why paint night was so my favorite one because we had an activity and we could talk the entire time and just get to know one another. And then we still had an activity, but it was still kind of chill. So I like a mix of both. Jill, I think everyone wants to know where you are today. If you've met a few different guys, 
right? You mm -hmm. felt some sparks. Like, mm -hmm. what are you feeling today? Thumbs up. Mm. Can you answer that question at this um. stage, or is it too early? But are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. It's okay. a lot of fun, and it's also like very confusing at the same time. <laughs> but you know, I feel like that's dating. So but now you understand the Bachelor a yeah. little bit more. <laughs> exactly. Show your sweater. Show my sweater. <laughs> Santa with all the reindeer. Would you recommend a dating coach for people out there dating? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. No, Lonnie has been a huge help this entire time, and like I Marco Polo her weekly, just doing catch ups and just notes on what happened and like just recapping my dates. And she's just been so funny and so supportive and she's like the best cheerleader to like, I like this dude or this dude, mm, yeah, I don't, I think, I think you're right in that decision, so. We're out of time, but where do we go from here? Are you gonna, going to continue this process? Is there an end goal? Um, I'm going to continue dating and see how it goes, and we can check back in next month. Okay, she I has like it. Four extra dating coaches. <laughs> yep. It's been so fun. <laughs> the most. She fun. should not listen to any of us, <laughs> but that's Probably okay. <laughs> All right. Up next, the generation gap trivia game. How well do you know pop culture? We are playing when GTU returns after this short break. <laughs>